Welcome from Sika Technology Group to the Washington Department of Natural Resources Forest Health Tracker. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add a grant, modify that grant, and add grant allocations to the Forest Health Tracker system. After logging in and requesting appropriate credentials, we can navigate to the financials and our full grants list where we can create a new grant. Now that I've entered in the required information for my grant, I'll click Save. And I can search for this recently created grant by grant name. I can navigate to this grant detail page. And here I can edit the basic information and add grant modifications and grant allocations to the grant. Let's create a grant modification. After I've entered in the required information for the grant modification, I can save that. Be certain to update these changes captured in the grant modification in the Grant Basics section. Additionally, we can create a grant allocation that's tied to this grant. After I've entered the important information for this grant allocation, such as the grant number it's tied to, its grant manager, and the program index and project code, I can save this new grant allocation. After saving our new grant allocation, we can see this child grant allocation displayed on the parent grant page here in the grid. Again, we can navigate to the details of that grant allocation and update its information. Back at the full grants list, we can also find the grant we created and view all children grant allocations related to that grant. From here, we can create new grant allocation if needed. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create a grant, modify that grant, and create grant allocations in the Forest Health Tracker. If you have any questions, please reference the Forest Health Tracker user guide or request support through the Help tab. Thank you very much.